Hey guys, given the contents of the patch today, I have begun making some wheel-based, um, let's call them contraptions. Uh, I think these wheels have a lot of potential, and I can't wait uh, wait to make a bunch of stuff with them. The first thing I've made is a uh, hangar crane, or something similar, uh, moves in two dimensions. I'm not sure how useful it is in space since, well, ships at least um, move by themselves. I, I guess you could use this to sort car containers or something similar, uh, especially to get it up. I wanted to make a three-dimensional one, but uh, moving up and down presents an issue with uh, thrusters damaging your cargo. Anyhow, let's... Uh, as you can see, it moves uh, compared to the old uh, landing gear based uh, rails and stuff like that, it moves rather smoothly. And the only real weakness is uh, if you put too much force on uh, the wheel, they will crush the armor. The wheels themselves will not uh, be damaged by the force. I'm not sure how much they can withstand, but they're stronger than heavy armor at least uh, impact wise you can see they are kind of mashing it but then again this ship is about 1 million kilos so that's to be expected I guess I mean you got basically one wheel two wheels pressing down on the plate with uh, the force of the entire ship um, but yeah I am uh, I'm rather satisfied, satisfied with this as I said I'm not really sure about the application yet because uh, having it move inside a hangar makes the thrusters present an issue. I guess you could make some sort of um, gravity propulsion, but that would be tedious having to go into the options time and time again. But... Oh, this is going poorly. When I was running tests, this ran so smoothly. But yeah. I guess if I add more wheels, the weight is more evenly distributed and it won't bash it as easily. That's what I've done in here. Uh, so I probably should have done that, but this is mostly a concept. I might start working on making uh, tram systems, rails and stuff like that. I think uh, we can make some nice rails with these um, wheels, yeah? Right, sorry for the... Abrupt cut. Um, I finished the video before I actually explained any of this. Uh, I was working on the assumption that everybody knows what I do, um, which isn't always the case. Anyhow, as you probably figured out, it's uh, rotors with wheels on them. Uh, one thing I noticed was that you actually have to turn the rotors on for this to work properly. Uh, just having them at uh, zero RPM with zero braking torque still makes them break somewhat uh, if they're on, I'm not sure why. So they have to have zero braking torque and be turned off. As you can see I have um, wheels on uh, three sides of each rail, um, just like you would if you it was landing gear based. The good thing about the wheels is that uh, they're, they're, they kind of flex, so even though they're slightly wider than one block, um, as you can actually see here, I think, the wheel's bending up a little bit. Uh, so yeah, they will flex but not break. That's, uh, that's wonderful. Um, there was another thing I had to say, but I have totally forgotten it so if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask either in uh, well do it in the comments below um, so yeah that's it thank you for watching I hope it was useful